Welcome to the fifth installation of Vacant Space Project brought to us by Artistic Productions. My name is Elena Marte and I'm here at the Pompano Beach City Center where artists and their artwork have come to put on a show. I'm here now with Nikki Lopez, who is one of the artists here at Vacant Space Project. Nikki, tell us a bit about your collection. Uh, well, I'm a graphic designer and a multidisciplinary artist, and this here is just some of my paintings. A lot of them have uh, different themes. A lot of them are esoterical themes, or just um, bringing, talking about nature, um, humanity, and just you know, or self-expression. Like some of them are abstract self-portraits. I think this is just a great win-win situation. You have these spaces, they're not being used, they're not collecting rent or anything like that. And it gives um, the artist opportunity to show work in a different venue. I've never been up here. And it also gives the space a different, you know, some culture, some art. I'm here now with Hannah and Gabby. They're here at the event. Is this your first time here? Yeah. Yes. What do you guys think of the event so far? It's great! It's awesome. I was expecting it to be like smaller for some reason. This is awesome. It's huge. It's bright. It's beautiful. So. And a lot of great artwork too. So, And the music is great. So Roshona, first question. Uh, tell us the style of your art. Well, I call it energy art because as you can see there's a lot of energy in my painting and it takes me a long time to paint, but everybody I paint, I paint with a lot of power, a lot of passion, and I have a connection to everybody I paint so everyone can have a connection that sees it. Um, I think it's a really Flor Floridian style. I don't really know what to call it. People have compared me to Surat for pointillism, but I really am not 100% how to, how to call it besides energy art. And why is it important to have an event like this in Pompano Beach? Oh, it's very important. As you can see, it brings out a lot of crowds, healthy economy. I wouldn't have come here if I didn't know about the art shows. And I'm very fortunate that Charlotte, you know, put this together. And I believe art makes the world a better place, and that's exactly what we need. It's a positive outlet, which is what I try to convey in every, every painting I have. Every message is positive. And why is it important to have an event like this in Pompano? Uh, I've lived in Pompano for 24 years, and this mall used to be way more happening back in the day. And I feel like the city is kind of... Uh, lost its, I guess, sense of community. So this is like a way of getting people to come out of their houses and actually do something. So Sarah Thompson, yes, tell us hi. a bit about your art. Well, hi, my artwork. Um, this is a series that I'm doing right now with works on paper. Um, I'm incorporating images of modern man technology and uh, nature and abstracting them into a dreamlike consciousness that ends up uh, describing the intelligence of our, of our technologies in our present day and the intelligence of life. We also really need to make sure that we have a strength hold in the community and so that people understand what the role of the artist is yeah. and how the, that interaction, how much can be learned by um, inviting community to experience this and talk to the artist. And, I have been told my art um, can compare to Suicide Girls meets Hello Kitty meets anime. I don't really know what to call it. I just have a lot of fun with it. So I draw girls, animals, and happy, happy things. So that's pretty much what I do. The community has been really supportive, and I really feel that it's important to keep these events going because we can inspire anything from children to adults who haven't picked up art in a while and they see what's going on and they might be inspired to do it themselves. I use ceramic and what I'll do is I'll take textures that I find in nature or imagery that I draw and transfer it onto these structures and then stand them upright. They're kind of like totems or primitive this kind of exhibition is really great for especially the underexposed or people that are just emerging or just people that want to put stuff that they have out there in the world and it's a great spot for it to be in with lots of people coming through. 
Uh, well, I'd have to consider it uh, abstract expressionism, um, bordering art brute. I'm self-taught, so I, I try to convey that sort of uh, primitive, raw uh, emotion onto the canvas. But for the community, I mean, art is, I, I consider art essential uh, for the community. Um, it just, it brings a lot of color and, and uh, just life to the, to the area, you know. All right, I'm here now with Adriana. She came to the event, and what do you think so far? Um, I think it's a really good. You know, uh, they told me they are uh, small um, artists, and I think they're doing really good, and it's good that they support, you know, like um, another, the small artists. Yeah. They, they're just starting. So I'm here with Melissa and she's going to tell us a bit about her art style. Well I have a bachelor's in graphic design and I was trained to do simple graphic design cut paste stuff and one day I did a collage and all of a sudden my creativity started flowing out and I also have traveled to Asia and India and that also is represented in my style. And why is it important to have events like this not only for the community but for artists as well? Well, it gives people who, you know, are just in the Pompano area or in any general area the chance to come out and see local artists. It also gives local artists an easy way to get their name out there. Um, getting people into the space, and, and this was a great opportunity for young artists to be, uh, to get their work out there, to be, to be seen by the public. And I, I just think it's a wonderful experience and a great opportunity for a lot of people. What would you consider to be the style of your art? I guess you could call it street core. It's, uh, it's made to be seen. And it's not always in the galleries. A lot of this stuff ends up on the street, you know? Same with the, the bike. I do these bikes and uh, they end up on the street. And 20, you see them all over the place. It's just for the people. Why is it important to have events like this, not only for the community, but for the artists as well? so people have uh, an outlet for their art and somewhere for people to come and see the art because it's not enough of that around right now. Yeah.